Whenever it comes to inviting people to take a look at your business or your product or service, do you ever struggle or just blank out or completely forget how to speak human? Well, in today's video, we're going to be going over exactly my favorite prospecting and inviting scripts and how to overcome objections to help you get more people to take a look at your business opportunity or service. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is David Lamro, and I help busy people to create a secondary recurring income without having to sacrifice their souls to get it. <laughs> so in today's video, we're, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite prospecting and inviting scripts uh, and just the, the overall mindset of how to go about sharing your business opportunity with the world to help people. So. Here in the beginning, we're going to be talking about a couple of different things. Mindset, we're going to be talking about uh, warm market and cold market, okay? And at the end of this, I'm going to be giving you a free giveaway uh, on how to overcome the top three objections whenever, uh, whenever you go to make those invites. So be sure and stick with me to the end of this so you can know how to get that. So just the overall mindset whenever it comes to making invitations. I want you to, if, if you're the kind of person that feels like that phone is a hundred pounds before you go to, to, to make that phone call, then you're probably thinking at it wrong. Your job is not to get anybody into your business. Your job is not to make any sales, okay? Your job is to check what time it is for them, okay? So there's a, there's a philosophy out there called the high noon philosophy. And it's basically you're looking for the people that are looking for you. So imagine this, imagine that you're a waiter uh, that has a, a, a pitcher of orange juice and you're going around and you, you're looking for people that are looking for a refill of orange juice. And now there are gonna be some people that they're drinking coffee and they're, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, dude, I'm drinking coffee, get away. <laughs> I don't want that. Or they're gonna be like, ew, gross, I never drink orange juice. But then you're gonna come to that person that's gonna say, hey, I've been waiting for you for a while. Thank you for bringing me some orange juice. All right, so you're just looking for the people that are ready. It's called the high noon philosophy. All right, another mindset tip is that you're just looking to share with them what you're doing, okay? Be excited. I'm so freaking excited about this thing, I can hardly stand it. And I just wanted to share with you uh, and run this idea past you just to share with you what I'm doing, okay? Also, learn to speak in what's in it for them format. So just be aware of your language and think about it before you go into that conversation. Think about what's in it for them uh, on their side, from their point of view. Okay, and I've got three tips on how to help you do that here in just a second. Now, the last mindset tip is to help to help you realize what you have your hands on. I want you to respect your friends enough to recruit them. Okay, that's kind of shifting the paradigm, I know. But think about it like this. Whenever you have a great high school football athlete, isn't it a great honor that uh, recruiters come from colleges saying, hey, we're looking at your son. Uh, we want to recruit him to be on our team. We're going to give him a full ride scholarship type of thing. Isn't that a big honor? It's a big deal. So I want you to have the mindset of I respect you enough to reach out to you because I want you on my team. All right. Now that is a that is an approach that's that I use mainly for for my warm market because I know my my friends and you know that it, that kind of validation goes a little bit further. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the differences between warm market and cold market. So for warm market. I always encourage people to respect the relationship first. If it's somebody that you talk to on a daily basis, it's a really easy invite, okay? My invite for that is super easy, okay? I've got an idea, I found something I'm really excited about, I've got an idea, I wanna run it past you and see what you think about it. Can we meet up at your place tomorrow at two? Or tomorrow, or would four o'clock or six o'clock work better for you, okay? If you give them options, they will usually pick one. And do your best just to give them two options so throw out just two options. Will you know will two o'clock work better, or will two o'clock work, or will six o'clock work better for you? All right. Will morning work better, or would you prefer the afternoon? All right. Would you prefer breakfast, or would you prefer lunch? <laughs> Super easy. So that's that. Respect the relationship. Okay. If it, if you haven't talked to them in a long time, I love using this this line right here. Marry this line. Okay. Um, I love calling people and just 
say, or actually texting them as well too. This works really well for texting. So I've got something I want to run past you, or I like to actually start it out with, Hey, how have you been? It's been a while. I thought of you. Uh, I've got something I want to run past you, but first, how have you been? How is the kids? How's life? All right. So leave that on the back burner, let them know up front and they will respect, they'll respect you for that. So let them know that you have something uh, that you want to run past them and then just move on to them. Catch up. That's respecting the relationship. Then usually they'll catch up a little bit. They'll let you know what's going on and then they'll, they'll bring it back around whenever they're ready for it. They'll ask you, Hey, what was that thing that you were talking about? So what's up? <laughs> That's whenever you say, I like to have three different categories that I put people into. And this works for me, but uh, you may be in a different industry or a different category of, of service or product. So think about it like this. Here's the formula I'm giving you. I thought of you because blank or blank or blank. So for me, I, I put people into three different categories. I'm in a health and wellness company and I like to put people into either health and wellness. They're very health conscious or they're business minded. They like to make extra money or, or they're just always very supportive. So what I mean by that is they're always very supportive of you. No matter what you do, they're always very supportive of you. So I thought of you because works very well. So after after they've got back with you. So what's up? You know, what, 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 what was that thing you were wanting to tell me about? I like to say, well, I found this thing that I'm really excited about. And I thought of you because you're always very health conscious, or I thought of you because you're always very business oriented, or I thought of you because you've always been very supportive of me. And I really appreciate that about you. So then just, then the next part is just be very clear. Okay. Let them know what it is. I started a business. I'm super excited about it. And here's, there's not a magic bullet phrase in this industry, but if there was, it would go something like this. If I sent you a video, would you watch it? Or if I came over, would you sit down with me? If I came over, um, would you have a little bit, would you give me about 30 minutes of your time just so I could show you what I'm doing? Cause I'm really excited about it. All right. So does that help you guys? I hope it does. I'm going to get into the cold market stuff. Now, my biggest tip guideline for for cold market uh, prospecting is is this very simply make a connection collect a decision that's it make a connection first this industry is all about turning cold market into friends and friends into family all right so make a connection first then collect a decision all right and here's the next tip whenever you're trying to collect that decision okay be very clear with what you're doing so for me some of the things that I have liked to, to say is I have a new technology in the health and wellness arena, and we're looking for some good people to just share some information about it. So if I sent you over a business overview video, video, would you watch it? Okay. It's very simple. All right. And then you let them know this is a 16 minute video, or this is a nine minute video. Uh, when can you have your watch by? Or if you actually want to encourage a little bit of urgency, you can ask them, how soon can you have it watched by? If you change it from when can you have it watched by to how soon can you have it watched by, that adds a little bit more urgency to it. So the next the next deal and last deal um, that, uh, that I love to say as far as uh, cold market is do you keep your options open or are you married to your job? Very simple. That line is never going to go old. I have gotten so many yeses from that line just to take a look at the invitation, just to take a look at the information. Okay. I've gotten so many yeses from that. It's, I, I don't even remember, you know, I couldn't even keep track, <laughs> probably thousands. Um, I know for sure hundreds, but anyways, you guys, did that bring you some value? I hope that brought you some value. If it did drop some comments in the comment section below, let me know how it's going to work for you. And here's my free gift to you. I don't know about you guys, but wouldn't you agree with me that having things done for you is nice. Who, who out there likes, having things done for you. I like to maximize my time, maximize my efficiency. And so what I've done for you is I've put together a PDF of some of my favorite invitation scripts. And I've also in included in this PDF download, um, the top three main objections that come up with these invitations and how to help you overcome them. So I hope that that's going to help you out, you guys. Again, the instructions on how to do that is down in the, in the description below. Just click that link and it's going to walk you through the process of how to download that free PDF for you. So I hope that that helps you guys. So question of the day, what are your biggest struggles whenever it comes to inviting? 
drop your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to be able to help you out in any way that I can possible. So this is a wrap for this video. My name, again, my name is David Lamro, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is David. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is David Lamro, and I help busy people to create a secondary, well, secondary. <laughs> um, drop a comment in the comment sections below. What, so question of the day guys, what are your biggest struggles? Dang it. So here's the question of the day. What are your biggest struggles whenever it comes to invites? All right, I would love to, so question of the day guys, so question of the day guys, so question of the day guys, I'm gonna stop saying that guys.